It's like a blast out there. Okay, we are switching gears now. You have your white coat on, but we're not going to throw color at you this morning. <laughs> of course, January is coming to an end, and if you haven't really gotten a jump start on your resolution to get healthier, it is not too late. While well, exercise and dieting are, of course, very important, there is something else that you can do to help your body feel renewed. You can detox, but it has to be done the right way to get the benefits. And we are joined by Dr. Sunil Jain of Rejuvena Health and Aesthetics to give us some tips on exactly how to naturally detox. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So uh, the most um, probably prominent thing is juicing, right? But there's a whole bunch of other things you can do. So talk to me about what a detox really entails for people. Yeah, so detoxification actually means uh, many different things, and it can be achieved at different levels. Um, obviously, a medical detox needs to be done uh, under the supervision of a physician, uh, but there's many things you can do at home. And I like starting detoxification by just making some simple changes at home, uh, maybe bringing less chemicals, um, substituting some, uh, some more toxic uh, things around the house with more natural alternatives. Um, but then you can also detoxify by uh, changing the way you're eating. Okay. And one of the ways uh, that I think works very well is through juicing. And uh, if the juicing is made That's and done right. That's what you've got right. here is this, this ugly green juice, which ugly. probably it's doesn't beautiful taste. beautiful green. It's, it is beautiful green. It probably doesn't taste great, but it's probably so good for you. Yeah, it is. I actually, I, I don't use too much fruit in, in mine, uh, so it's almost all concentrated green. So it, it does taste a little bitter, but, you know, it's just 10 seconds of... Uh, of misery and then you're done for the day. Now this, I, I would think that for most people this is a really readily accessible way to do a detox. Yes, If it they're is. not going to go out and buy all these other things, which I want you to talk about as well, but this would be the easiest. Oh, absolutely. The it's the easiest store. and it's the best because it's from food. So, you know, you, there's people that will do a, a one day, three day, seven day. Um, some people do I've 21, done it for a week. 21 days. I was days. very angry for two days and then it finally settled in and I felt a lot better. Yeah, and I bet you felt amazing after I that. I did. Now, okay, if you want to take it a step further, what are some of these things? So we've We've got some other uh, different types of supplements, um, everything from uh, herbs like uh, celandine to uh, dandelion root to other type of uh, foods made into supplements like spirulina um, to different types of powders that you can take to help naturally cleanse the body. Um, it's just nowadays our body's under so much stress from all the different chemicals and, and pesticides and things that are uh, around us that we apl apply onto our bodies, for example, every day like lotions and creams that um, it, the need for detoxification is at an all-time high. Where do you buy these things? So you can buy these things at, uh, at like Whole Foods, uh, Sprouts, uh, different types of vitamin stores. Uh, you can also buy it in doctor's offices. Uh, but, you know, the best way to start uh, with the uh, food is, you know, in the grocery store. Yeah. Okay, uh, give me a really simple plan. You're sitting at home, you've never detoxed before. How many days do we do it for and what are the very basics? We you know, it just depends on, on each individual because there's a lot of people walking around who are actually very toxic. So if they start to do a detoxification process on their own, it may make them a little sick initially. So it, it all depends on the level of, of detox of, of what's going on in, in each patient's uh, personal health uh, that you want to determine is it okay to do a one day, to do a three day, to do a seven day. But generally speaking, when you're doing a juice cleanse, um, the first day or two can be a little tough because you are delivering a mass amount of nutrients into the body and the liver is, uh, is extremely overwhelmed and, they, and it likes that. But uh, it starts to release toxins and you can feel a little uh, crummy for a day or two. Uh, but or just get, angry at the world. Or angry at I the felt. world. There you go. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I, after that, then it's, it, it gets a lot better. And um, you'll, just, you'll start eliminating better. You'll feel better. Your eyes will be clear. Your skin will look clear. Uh, and it just it's reflected all the way around. So the purpose really is just to cleanse your body. It, well, out. absolutely. I mean, we have so much chronic disease, especially cancer, and it doesn't just happen for a reason. You know, the body is creating this dysfunction, uh, and if we can remove all these different ways it's uh, attacking our cells and, and causing them to, to basically go rogue and turn against us, uh, then that gives us the best possible chance to try and prevent these diseases. Okay, something to think about, somewhere to start. Where can they get a hold of you if they have any further questions? They can always reach us on our uh, website at WeRejuvenate.com. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate your thank time. You for and me. thanks for inspiring me to try this juicing.